MG Car Club Victoria. We're surrounded by stunning MGs, all makes and models from the 1920s upwards. And I'm here with Brad Vermont, who is the captain of the Yow Register. Can you tell me what the Yow Register is all about? So the Yow Register is our program to encourage the next generation of MG owners and MG enthusiasts, and basically just to do a bit of sort of public service and help future driver training as well. So our program's open for 12, uh, 12 to 18 year olds to give them a chance to learn sort of in a safe environment and um, give them some experience with the old cars as well, which they might not otherwise get. So you've got two cars in the Yow group. We do. And one's manual and one's automatic? Or no, what? they're both, auto- both are manual, in fact. Oh, so that, that's something excellent. of a skill that can be sort of difficult to learn these days. A lot of the kids don't get the opportunity because manuals are pretty hard to come by. So, um, and especially the MG3, which is the new car, which is one of the very rare manual ones in the country as well. So, good that's opportunity. Now, if you're wanting to be involved with the Yao Group, do you have to be 18 and have your license? No, so we're up for 12 year olds, 12 year olds and up. So that's um, it's a pretty good experience. My own son is 16. He's been in Yao for a couple of years now, and so he's sort of developed quite a bit of skills. So having just got his L's, he's got that sort of head start to go out on the road, and he's loving it. And it, it gives you quite a bit of skill with driving, doesn't it, to be able to get on the different events? Absolutely. It gives you a chance to sort of start from zero. So a lot of the kids will come to their Yao event. They've never sat in a driver's seat before. And it's a great chance for them to have a go. You know, it's a pretty supportive environment. We've got plenty of space around the kids. They get plenty of opportunities um, just to sort of take their time and learn. So the the clutch control is always going to be a challenge for anyone. Um, But once they sort of get confident, you can just see them, like even in the course of sort of one event, just blossoming confidence. And, um, you know, pretty soon we're asking them to slow down rather than the other way around. and it also opens opportunities for them to be involved in other uh, events as well. So we have um, a number of events that EMG Car Club run which are youth friendly. Um, so then sort of non-speed events, um, things like autocarnas and um, observed sectional trials, um, in which case the kids can go at their own speed and they can learn um, yeah, that sort of finer car control in a, in a really fun environment. Like Motocana as well. Absolutely. So my son's only just had a go at Motocana for the first time. Um, so after doing Yao for a few years, he sort of got that confidence up and now he's hooked. <laughs> Does it also teach them safety? Well, that's always been part of the idea as well. So especially if the kids do want to learn to drive a manual, they do want to sort of learn to drive an MG. Going out on the road, having to master the other cars and the traffic rules and everything else that goes on when you're out there on the road and trying to learn to use a gearbox at the same time is is a big ask. So, you know, if they can get those basic skills under control, they're going to be so much safer when they go out. I remember taking a Australia Drive Safe course years and years ago from some real experts who were instructors. Are you imparting that type of information to the children as well? Look, at at the moment, um, the education is pretty much done by the parents. We'll have a few volunteers that sort of help out here and there and jump in the car with the kids. Um, we don't have uh, sort of more formal driver training, but um, these are all goals for long term that we have to sort of sort of expand what we can offer in the future. Can you tell me a little about the two cars? Sure. Okay. So we've got the two cars here. They're available just for the kids to use. Um, and so for any youth event, particularly the Yao events, um, these will be available for anybody to sort of jump in and have a go at. Um, both being manual, this is kind of unusual. This is an MG3, which is quite a modern car. Um, and it's quite unusual to have a manual. This was actually donated by a, a very generous club member. Uh, so that was donated by Marjorie. And um, the kids seem to love it, so it gets plenty of use, this one. Um, and in contrast, we've got the older one here, which is the, an MG Midget 1500. Um, so that gives you that really old-fashioned sort of MG experience that's sort of, you know, in there tight with a big steering wheel and all the fun. And, um, yeah, and that seems to be particularly good for the kids as well with the gear ratios in it. It's, um, yeah. This would probably be quite good for Motocana, wouldn't it? I would expect this would be a pretty hard car to beat on Motocana because the gear ratios are nice and tight, so you'll, you'll fly off the mark and it's nice and, nice and small as well. Shorter wheelbase. Yeah, it all helps. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. No problem at all. Trisha Zima. I think it's been stronger than previous years. Uh, it's really heartening to see. Uh, long may I continue. Not only the judging, but also the marshals, the people doing the parking, the, the, the people in the office, sorting out the school sheets. Um, it's, it's been a magnificent day. And we're 
pretty blessed with the weather too, I must say, considering what is going to happen over the next few days. So thank you. Give yourselves a uh, big clap for uh, helping us today.
Thank you.